Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah, ya ma'abad. Before we break our fast, are there any questions on the topic or off the topic from the brothers or from the sisters? If there are any questions, <coughs> now is the time. Now is the opportunity for any questions on the topic or off the topic. And if not, jazakumullah khayba. Any questions, Nafis? question from yesterday, but I think there's another question that might be more important. Allah uh, Somebody had asked me, I don't, it's a very long thing. If you can just read it and maybe summarize, you know, don't re read it to yourself. <coughs> Some things is incorrect, what he said about that I said. Can't answer this question because whoever sent the person is cup is too full. He says, I'm not calling him or asking him anything. I already have someone I follow since I was a kid. Khalas. Ask the person that you follow. Hey, well, I can't help you. Any other questions? Hold on. So let's say someone's brushing his teeth and the water goes in. What's the ruling? And is it unintentional? The question says someone was brushing his or her teeth. And obviously, while they're fasting, correct? And some water accidentally, they swallow some water accidentally, correct? What is the ruling? This is two ways of answering the question. The first is, Thabit Arshaka Thumakush. As it says in a famous Arabian proverb. They say what? Solidify your throne, then decorate it. Bolster your chair, then paint it. Before you get into the accidental swallowing of the water, is it permissible to brush your teeth while you're fasting? Is it permissible to brush one's teeth while fasting? Those ulama who say that it's haram, you can't brush your teeth while you're fasting. You can't use toothpaste while you're fasting. Whether it's miswak, toothbrush, siwak, huh? Uh, Tom's natural toothpaste, Colgate, whatever you use, Aquafresh, Arm and Hammer, baking soda, diet, peroxide, whitening, smoker, Allah alam. However, you brush your teeth. Some more than that, they say that it isn't lawful, it is haram for a fasting Muslim to brush their teeth with toothpaste. They say you can't do it. Those on the map who hold that view, they're going to say if you accidentally swallow water, then your fast is what? Because you were doing something that you had no business doing. It was haram from the beginning. I right, clear on this? So that's the concept of solidifies. What? All right, then you chisel it and decorate it. And there are other ulama who may say there's nothing wrong for a Muslim who's fasting to brush his or her teeth with the condition that you're careful and precautious and that you make sure that no toothpaste, <laughs> none of the baking soda or the miswak paste uh, gets into your throat and you swallow it. Or the fizz or the fuzz or the bubbles that it doesn't dissolve because it can dissolve very quickly and you may not even realize it. Some of them say that there's nothing wrong with brushing the teeth while a person is fasting. Those ulama who say that it's permissible to brush your teeth while fasting with toothpaste, and you accidentally swallow something, obviously they're going to say then the fast is what? رَبَّنَا لَا تُعَخِذْنَا إِنْ نَسِينَا أَوْ أَخْفَأْنَا Huh? Allah said, the believers, they say, Oh our Lord, Allah, لَا تُعَخِذْنَا Do not punish us, do not seize us, Jameel. Salam. salam. If we make a what? If we forget or Make an error. So therefore, the correct opinion and the strongest view in Allah knows best is that it's nothing wrong with brushing your teeth while you're fasting. As long as nothing gets into your throat and that you're precautious. And that you're what? That you're precautious. If water gets into your throat by accident, something that you didn't have any intention to do, inshallah Allah best. Nothing wrong with that, but be careful. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Any other questions, Nafis? Uh, the thing about the lahir is Yesterday, yesterday's class, last night. last night, the concept or the question was, is it permissible for me to take knowledge from someone who shaves his beard? Is it valid? Is it permissible for me to take knowledge, someone to be my teacher who shaves his face? We said last night that in Islam, there's no difference of opinion of any island, any of the four traditional schools, the orthodox schools and the other non-orthodox schools that it is haram to shave the beard. It is haram to shave the beard. And one of the greatest ulama with regards to knowledge of difference of opinion, he narrated 
And he mentioned that there's ijma, there's scholarly consensus. And that was Ibn Hazm, rahimahullah. Ibn Hazm of the 5th century. And as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah ta'ala, said about Ibn Hazm, إِنَّهُ مَنْ أَعْلَمَ النَّاسِ بِالْخِلَافِ وَالْإِجْمَاعِ He's from the most learned of the people regarding to when they differ and when they agree. He narrated that it is haram for a Muslim man to shave his face. So therefore, shaving the face is an act of disobedience to Allah and to His Rasul. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said in hadith collected by Imam al-Nasai, reported by Zayd ibn Arqam radiallahu ta'ala anhu, انتبهوا للفائدة. لأن أكثر الناس ها في انتظار الحديث المشهورة في وجوب إعفاء اللحية ولهم يعني أجوبة معدة لها هذا معنى كذا وكذا انتبه للفائدة زيد بن أرقم رضي الله عنه هنا عبارة أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من لم يأخذ من شاربه فليس منا انتبه he says those who do not trim their mustaches are not from us those who do not trim their mustaches not from us they're not we're upon they're not upon, we're upon. Be very careful, because most people, they're ready to hear the hadith about what? The beard. Let the beard grow. It doesn't mean that. No, 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 no. They have answers that have been prepared, ready-made answers for that hadith. My sheikh says this. So what do we do, Abu Ibrahim? We do what? You have to outflank your opponent, because they're ready. They're, they're, they're waiting for that hadith. But this is a whole different hadith now. He narrates that the Prophet says, who does not trim his mustache is what? Not from us. Hadith is clear. Those who don't trim their mustaches, with long, big mustaches, they're not what? Upon the way of Muhammad Sallallahu Whatever that means. They're not upon his way. Common sense tells you what from the hadith, you mean? Common sense tells you what about the hadith, Imran? The mustache is the only thing that's to be trimmed. Let alone shaved. Let alone what? Shaved. The Prophet says, if you don't trim your mustache, then you're what? Not from us. So just stop and think, what does this hadith mean? If I have a very large mustache, I'm against the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. What do you think is the case with regards to? No facial hair at all, no beard. Everybody clear on this? So therefore, the hadith that the Prophet mentioned to let the beards grow long. Not to cut them, not to shave them, not to trim them. Everybody understand this? Everybody, everybody, everybody clear on this? Tell them. You're gonna mess up the recording.